and Takeshka German suplexes him before just uh, beginning to stomp him out. This prompts one John Moxley to come to the ring, and he comes through the timekeeper's area grabbing a microphone as he does. He calmly goes to the ring, gets face to face with Takeshka, and just bombs him, bops him, bombs him. I'm combining words Bom- here, bonks him. <laughs> just basically stabs him in the head with the microphone and pretty much uh, putting Takeshka on his ass and almost rendering him unconscious. Uh, Rev, let, me, let, let me ask Matt a question real quick. Matt, was this the microphone you wished you got last week with Hook and Jericho? Yes. Yes, it was. Much better, right? And had that yes. satisfying pop. Yeah. And, yeah. Right, yeah it was, uh, yep. I don't know if that translated, but... but it, no, it was good. Uh, yeah, Box then said uh, he'll see Takesh get double or nothing, and then he left. Uh, so this was a short segment, James, but it did everything it needed to do. Takesh looked like a beast. He took out uh, an AEW veteran, then somebody everybody knows, uh, who actually had tangential ties to Moxley, which I thought they did a very good job of setting yeah. up on commentary so that this wasn't just one of those random matches. It makes sense that Seidel is going up against Takeshka. And then Mox come in and it just hilariously takes Takeshka out. So good stuff all around here. It's a yep. very efficient, efficient segment. I, I thought it accomplished everything it needed to. I actually had a little bit of a gripe, which is hard to say considering how quick everything was. I was really bummed that he didn't just finish the match with the Blue Thunder Bomb. And not because I love the Blue Thunder Bomb, which I actually really do, obviously, but more I, w- I would have loved to see this move that is – you know, constantly getting him two counts, actually just finish the match for him and make it a more believable move for him in the future. Like everybody has that move that it's just like, oh, that's the signature. The guy always thinks he's going to get the pin off of it, but he never does. And we as the audience are conditioned to expect him to not get the win off of it. You could take a look at another Blue Thunder Bomb in Sammy's. Like- exactly. <laughs> He, exactly. I think he wins with it once every 100 times. Right? It's typically always either against Kofi or AJ and, <laughs> and no, nobody else. But um, I would have loved it if he actually did get the win. I didn't mind the forearm spot, but if I would have done that after the match. You know, like I know he already beat him down. Like I, I know he was beating him down anyway with the German suplex. Finish the match with that blue thunder bomb. Get the one, two, three then start the beat down with the forearm, go into that German suplex and everything afterwards. Because I guess you've established a different weapon in his arsenal as a finisher, 